Okay, I'll try and talk loud because I know that this. Maybe this will help. Better. Um, because I know that uh, it's loud down here in my basement, in my temporary little build room. But um, this document here, I'll I'll get to in a little bit. But that's for the old version of the Rockmite, the Rockmite one, the original one that was dev uh, designed by. Um, Whoever, I don't remember. Um, <clears throat> but this is. Uh, we're gonna focus here. Come on, you punk. This is the Rock Might 2. Alright, so anyway, on the Rock Might 1, this here was a surface mount chip. Now they have a special chip, in, and it's a socket. So what you want to do is you want to get that on there, but there's there's a problem with it, and it's in the builder's uh, Rockmite 2 builder's help guide, and it's the last thing. It's the errata, the U1 to U5 C4 C5 trace mod. Okay, and it's got some instructions in there. It's downloadable. So, I basically, I tacked these on, actually fully soldered these. Normally I wouldn't put those on first, but, uh, and then I tacked this one in this corner up here. Man, this sucks. Maybe. Well, it works. Ha. Huh. In this corner up there, you, see, you can kind of see the solder. Um, see if I can point out. Ah! Sorry for the sucky video. I, I tacked it there and then I uh, went through a bunch of hooey to get this in here. And now I need to put a capacitor across here and tack the other end of this up into that. So, um, I think I'm going to solder the rest of the board down, uh, the socket down first and then uh, get to that in um, so that that uh, zero ohm resistor isn't in the way. Alright, uh, I'll be back with you guys in a little while um, with the first part of the build. Okay, so let's try this. There's my multimeter. Alright, so I had to add that little resistor, see that yellow dot? Or uh, capacitor, I had to add that. And then on the back of the board, that's one of the pins on that resistor, on that capacitor. So it's tied to this, down here in this corner here, it's tied to the socket, and up here it's to this capacitor. They made the trace wrong on the board. So uh, I tested it, and that believe that's ridiculously close to that other pin there. I was worried. I don't know if you can see up there, um, but I tested between that pin on the socket and the pin at the end of that resistor, and I am not getting any um, any connectivity through there. So uh, we're we're good to go. That's where we're starting, and. Um, Next page. I'm just gonna start going into resistors now and doing uh, this kind of resistor stuff. So I'll throw some resistors on, and um, once I get done with that, we'll, uh, you know, I'll start showing you some resistors. Uh, I might have to actually go talk to my children or something <laughs> later, but uh, that's where I am right now. Brian from Moment to Ponder, um, you probably won't even notice, um, it'll just go into the next part of the video. Do, do, do. I know this is a particularly crappy view. I get it. Sorry. It's just, you're just going to have to deal with it. Um, but the first step, I'll, I'll kind of go for the first one here, is uh, R12 on this board here. Um, 
I don't know how, how well that's going to be able to be seen, how the good the light is. But R12 is uh, down here. It's got this big circle and a little circle above it. So it'll go here like this. Let me show you what they want you to do. Um, so I'll take R12 off my paper and I just checked it with the ohm meter to make sure it was the right resistance. I'll be careful that I don't break this thing. They don't give you spares on much of this. So Maybe I was too good with my putting it on the paper here. Okay. Now, what they want you to do is to create the gold is at the bottom. So what I do is I put my forceps on here. I'm probably doing it a bit more than is necessary. And then just bend this over. like this. Now it's going to go into R12 like that. That's way higher than it needs to be. That wire. So I'll actually redo that. But that's how they want it mounted. You can mount it a little over the board. You don't, there's no reason to mount it above the board. But this way you can always read that resistor and know where it is if you need to go back later to redo it. So uh, let me fix that. I guess I'll let you watch me. But I, I like to put a pair of forceps on the end so you're not stressing that connection. That's a little better. It doesn't stick up nearly as high. We won't have to worry about it grounding out a connection somewhere. It's like that. Now, uh, the way this is set up, I can't show you me soldering, so uh, I'll get back and show you when it's done here. I'll try to get some more light in here for next time, but uh, so it's been soldered on. I'll just take these snips here, just snip it off at the bottom. You can see that it's not a perfect soldering job, but it works. That's what it looks like, son of a gun, on the top. Alright, so I'm going to be doing a whole lot more of that. Um, so interesting, I know. Uh, it's always good to keep a few of these little ends that you snipped off for some things. Um, they come in handy later as jumpers if needed or whatever. So, um, let me get to it and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, what I'm doing now, I don't know if you'll hear this or not, R16, which is a 100 ohm, yep, I'm testing each one. Set the right setting on the multimeter. 99.0, that's 100 in my book. To spread them apart kind of helps hold them steady while I solder.
Okay, so we're at a point here where I've got approximately half the uh, resistors on uh, the board here. And I'm going to straighten them up and make them look pretty and all that magic. And then I remembered <laughs> um, on the assembly notes for the case that I bought um, they want you to scrape the mask off some things because you're going to use them where you wouldn't have used them before and it's uh, for the potentiometer or variable resistor uh, that controls the keyer speed and those are these three little dots here you can see they don't have the silver around them so I got to get in there and <laughs> figure out how I'm going to scrape them. I don't think this knife is strong enough to expose the metal for those so that I can solder to them. Um, that's the first half of these anyway. I inspected all my joints. They look all good. This still creeps me out here. I don't know what I can do, but it still freaks me out a little bit that how close it is there. It should be all right. So that's that. First half of the resistors, according to these uh, these instructions, which I'll, I said I'd post earlier. It so far, like I said, this is for the original board, and we've got the version three board. There's not that much different at this point that I'm finding. So, um, I'm, I'm checking the numbers that they're giving for resistors against what I've already marked out from the version 3 build list, but the build list doesn't go one by one like this does. Uh, this is completely just read, check the box, one resistor at a time. So, super easy. Um, so far, I'll keep you up to date. Like I was saying earlier, um, that is not the instructions. This P1, 2, and 3, these little solder mask things for the case mod, I used this little Dremel tool, and I just stuck it in the hole, and I turned it with my fingers a little bit, and on both sides, front and back, and you can see here, that this little brass, bronzy looking copper collar comes through. That's the metal that will solder to that just fine. So I just did it until I got that. There we go. That's how I did it. Alright, now on to uh, part two of the resistors. Second half. Well, there it is so far. That's all the resistors. And I did find a few differences in this document compared to what we were given. Uh, as far as resistors and stuff, there's some power mods and stuff that aren't accounted for in this document. So um, I'm making notes, um, and I don't know what I'll do with them, but if you pay attention when um, you're doing your inventory and you, um, you write down, hey, this is a power mod for R18, when you find R18, like highlight it or something. I didn't do that. If you highlight it or something, um, that way when you get to that, you can kind of stop and go, wait, what am I doing here? That's probably a good idea. There's a couple of speed ones that I don't know what that modification is, so I'm not going to do it. Um, that's about it. And just, just a quick, if you're going to use it for 9-volt operations uh, instead of 12-volt, you can use the uh, use these instead uh, in, in a couple of places for R1 and R8, but um, yeah, that's it for now. So um, it's all the resistors on the board there. I haven't soldered in ages, 
So hopefully it's not too bad of a job. What's next? Um, phase one, phase two is capacitors. So it's ten o'clock. I'm probably done for tonight. Um, uh, but that's pretty good. I'll go ahead and just uh, stop for tonight. And uh, edit this video, pop it up to YouTube there, and we'll work on capacitors and diodes and other stuff later, tomorrow or something. Pretty good stopping point. So this is Brian from Moment to Ponder. Uh, have a great day.